When working with division, many students run into trouble when a zero appears in the quotient. For example, when we're solving a problem like 5,125 divided by 5, we have a zero in our quotient. It can be easy to get hung up when that zero appears in the quotient, and kids tend to make mistakes. To understand it better, let's take a look at working on an example and working out a problem in which a zero will appear in our quotient. So we are going to look at the problem 420 divided by 4. So let's begin by setting it up with our regular long division setup and we're going to put the 420 here and our division symbol above and to the side and our 4 out here in front. And so I'm going to begin, since I have a one digit divisor, I can start by just looking at the first digit of my dividend. So I have a really simple problem on my hands to begin with and that is 4 divided by 4, which we know equals 1. And so we put the answer to that, that uh, problem, we put the quotient up here in the quotient area and we place a 1 nice and neatly over the 4 and go ahead and perform the calculation. So I do 1 times 4 equals 4 and I place that 4 right here underneath this 4. So now I subtract 4 minus 4 equals 0. So in that first little calculation I have a remainder of 0 but I'm not finished yet I still have more numbers in my dividend. So the next number that I move to is the 2 and I go over here and I pull this 2 down and I place it here. Now this is where I run into trouble. The second digit here because 2 is less than 4 and so I don't have a whole number that I can multiply by 4 to get an answer less than or equal to 2. And so the problem when I run into something like this is that I have to use a 0 then in my quotient. So I go ahead right here and I put a 0 and I perform this next calculation. And so I do 0 times 4 equals 0 and I place that number right here. And I go ahead and subtract. 2 minus 0 equals 2 and I still have one more calculation to perform. I still have one more digit to work with in my dividend. And so I go ahead and pull that next number down and now I have a, a very simple and straightforward division problem to work with. I have a number that's much greater than 4 to divide by. So I now have the problem of 20 divided by 4 which is 5. So if I multiply 5 times 4, I get 20 and put my answer here. And then 20 minus 20 equals 0, so I have no remainder and I'm finished working on, out the solution. So this is an example, so my answer is 105 with no remainder. And this is a really good example of working out a problem in which I have a zero in my quotient. An important point to remember with these problems is that if you can't find the right quotient greater than zero, zero might be your right quotient.